So let me start off with the drafting tools. So when you click this button, we open up the side panel uh, and there's four different tabs here of things that we do to help make you more efficient while you're drafting. Mm -hmm. So the first tab here is, is the navigation tab. And what we do here is we provide navigation shortcuts to the different parts of your patent application. Um, in addition to the section headings, we also have shortcuts to the first instance of each figure in the detailed description. Um, and you can click on these arrows to go right there. So for example, I'll click on the claims arrow and we go directly to the claims of your patent application. Um, or you can click the detailed description to go to that part uh, and so forth. So I particularly like this when I'm reviewing um, the patent with the inventor. And when you're talking with the inventor, you know, you don't want to waste time scrolling up and down. And it's really nice to make it easy to jump back and forth. Um, my favorite drafting tool is the reference labels tab. This is um, has some, some really neat stuff. So what we do is we extract the reference labels of your patent application, and we also extract the text that goes along with each one. And the idea here is that as you're drafting your patent application, you just have an always up-to-date quick reference of what number corresponds to what. Uh, before I had this, I was constantly scrolling up and down in my patent application to find what the numbers were, and now I can just glance over and use this table instead. Uh, but on top of that, we do a bunch of other really cool things. Um, one of my favorites is that we have typing shortcuts. So for example, let's say you want to type voice collection system 100 in your patent application. And I'm going to do that in the, at the end of this first paragraph here. Um, so what you can do is you just type the number 100 and then you type two slashes and you can keep typing. And we automatically complete that with the text and the number. And it goes quick, so I'll do it again. So 100, then two slashes, keep typing. And you can see that we automatically do that replacement for you. Um, so as you're drafting a patent application, you're probably going to type this phrase, I don't know, like 25 times. So it's just really nice to um, have that completion for you. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, we're smart about doing it. So here, the text is the beginning of a sentence. So we automatically capitalize the V uh, in voice collection system. But I'll do it again. And if it's in the middle of a sentence, you see that we don't capitalize the V. Um, so this way you can just you know, type using these shortcuts and uh, it'll fill in for you and, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then some other things we do here, uh, we have tools to make it very easy to change the text of a reference label um, or the number itself. So for example, let's say you, you speak with the inventor, he doesn't like the, the name that you chose and you wanna change it to something else. With this dialog here, you type in the new text that you want. So I'll just, I'll just say widget 100. And then throughout your patent application, everywhere that it says a voice collection system 100, we're gonna go ahead and change that to widget 100. And I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see that uh, it updated in the table and everywhere in your patent application where it used to say voice collection system 100, it's now going to say uh, widget 100. And, uh, and one nice thing about the way this works, um, let's say you made a mistake and you wanna undo it. If you just do one instance of the word undo functionality, um, it goes ahead and um, it undoes that entire global replace. So now we're back to uh, voice collection system 100 everywhere. Uh, in a similar manner, you can change the number. So maybe I want to change voice collection system 100 to instead be 101. We'll go ahead and uh, make that change throughout your patent application. Um, so the idea here is we're just trying to automate, um, you know, the very tedious things that you guys have to do. Uh, next, I'll go to the figures tab. And this is similar, but now we're list the figures that you have in your patent application. Uh, and we also have a utility to change the figure number. And this is more complicated because what we do, um, let's say I want to change figure two to say figure 33. And what we're going to do is every instance of figure two, we're going to change that to figure 33 throughout the patent application. But then on top of that, you're going to want to change your reference labels as well. So every reference label that starts with two, we're going to instead change it to start with 33. Um, so this is quite tedious to do on your own. 
But with one click, we go ahead and do that for you. And you can see in the table here, we have a new figure 33. And if we go back to the reference labels tab, we now have a bunch of reference labels that start with 33. Uh, and before those all started with 200 instead. So if you ever need to um, you know, reorder your figures, it's uh, far easier to do it using the, uh, the shortcuts that we have. Uh, and then the last tab we have relates to the claims. And um, we have a feature here where we will automatically insert the reference labels into your claims. So the way it works is you select the claims you wanna do this with, with your mouse. So I just selected claim one, and then we click add to selected claims. And you can see that we've inserted the reference labels. So now uh, 110 has been added after server, for example. And uh, in a similar manner, you can also remove reference labels from your claims. You know, you just select the claims, you click remove, and we take out um, all the reference labels. And then there's another shortcut to automatically select all of your claims. And then you can use this button to add the reference labels to all of your claims. And um, the focus of our new features this year um, are all related to these application drafting tools. And you can expect to see a lot of new things in the coming months. Um, some examples of things that we'll have soon uh, is we're gonna do automatic renumbering of your claims. So for example, if you insert a new claim two and then you need to renumber all the subsequent claims, um, we'll go ahead and do that for you in one click. Um, and then, sorry, let me just undo some of the changes that I made. Um, and then other things that you'll, you'll see this coming year uh, is that we're going to automate the generation of the brief description of your figures. Uh, we're going to automate claim summaries, um, you know, things like that. So definitely be on the lookout for a lot of cool uh, patent generation tools to save you time.